The easiest way to get started with Service Mesh is with an open source project called Superglue from Solo.io. In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with AWS App Mesh using Superglue. Superglue is an API abstraction on top of any implementation of Service Mesh. The idea with Superglue is to simplify the API so that we can get consistent behavior regardless of what, what mesh we're actually using. Superglue does other interesting things like allowing us to write extensions to our service mesh without tying to any specific API, allows us to manage multiple clusters of a particular implementation of a service mesh, and allows us to merge or mix and match service mesh implementations as needed. Those will be topics for future videos. In this video, we're going to show getting started with App Mesh, but I want to point you to a blog where the good folks at Shopify used Superglue to get started with other service mesh implementations. I encourage you to take a look at this blog. Now, let's get to the demo. The first thing we're going to do is notice we are using AWS. We have our EKS cluster spun up here in AWS. We have our EKS cluster. If we come over here to our app mesh console, we should see we do not have any meshes currently installed. No meshes were found. So what we're going to do is use Superglue to register a mesh with App Mesh. And I say register because App Mesh uses a managed control plane. When you use Superglue to install other service mesh implementations, we actually install the control plane for those meshes inside our cluster. With App Mesh, we cannot and, and do not do that. So the first thing we're going to do is register our App Mesh service mesh. We're going to run superglue register app mesh. The name we're going to use is demo app mesh. We're going to store this information in superglue. So this creates a mesh CRD, which allows superglue to help us track the installation and management of our mesh. We're going to use a secret that allows us to connect to AWS. We're going to store this with, or we're going to create the mesh where our EKS cluster is which is in uh, US West 2. We do want to use sidecar auto injection for this mesh, which means when we deploy a, our applications that the auto injector will automatically put the sidecar pods, so, so the Envoy proxies next to our application and can configure them to connect to the app mesh control plane. So we'll say yes to that. And we're going to do that for all the pods in a namespace we're going to choose the book info app mesh namespace. I'm going to say done. Now we're going to we're going to tell app mesh or sorry the auto injector to use the default configuration, but we can provide our own configuration if needed. The last thing we'll do is provide a key to the labels that we'll use to identify what the virtual node names should be. At this point, this should create our mesh CRD that Superglue knows how to. Uh, take and manage a mesh. If we get the pods in the superglue system, we should see that the auto, the sidecar injector has been started and is running. And if we get this mesh CRD, we should see that it has been created. And lastly, we'll check with app mesh and we should see that our mesh has now been created. And if we come back to the console and do a refresh here, we should see that it's been created. Demo app mesh. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to deploy our book info app. If we do get pod book info app mesh, we should see we don't have anything there. So what we're going to do is set up our book info app. We'll 
we'll watch that that namespace. Um, and we will set that up. And on the top pane, you'll notice here that the book info app is deploying and we're seeing two containers per pod, which is exactly what we want to see. This is the auto injector putting the sidecar, the Envoy sidecar proxy and configuring it to talk to, to the app mesh. So we'll give this a second to initialize. Gotten a little farther here and we, our pods are running. Let's take a look. Is everything up? Everything is up. Great. So that, now what we're going to do, um, Now what we're going to do is take a look at our at our book info product page. And we see we have the book info app running. If we go into normal user and we refresh a few times we should notice that all the traffic in this app the way we've set it up is all the traffic is going to the reviewer the reviews v1 version of the service you know if you're familiar with the book info app there's version 2 and version 3 one that shows black stars one that shows red stars everything is going to version 1 right now and that's fine let's demo some traffic shifting using using app mesh so we'll Open up the port forwarding again. This should open up the web page again. The scripted demo. Very helpful. Now, what we're going to do is apply some traffic shifting rules. In this case, we're going to do it in interactive mode, but we could do this with uh, command line flags as well. The name of this rule we're going to use is split reviews. And we're going to put this rule in the superglue system, though it could live in any of these uh, namespaces. We're not going to do any source selectors for this. We are going to create a destination selector for this, which means anytime we talk to the review service, we will um, in, in, enforce this rule. A glue and superglue uses something called upstream, which is analogous to a, a cluster in Envoy. And for this upstream, when we talk to reviews, we'll invoke this traffic shifting rule. And we'll say done. We don't need to add any more upstreams for that. For request matcher, we will add a default request matcher. We'll just say a prefix request matcher and we'll just match on everything. I'll just hit enter. The default is, uh, is, is everything. And we do not need to add any other types of matchers, any headers or HTTP method, we'll skip that. And we don't need to add another request matcher. Next, we're going to apply this to the superglue um, app mesh mesh. Like I said, superglue can apply traffic rules consistently. This is, this is the, the unified superglue API for traffic management. Uh, and we can apply this to any mesh, but we'll, we'll focus this on app mesh. Now, the upstreams that we're going to split traffic to, uh, we're going we're gonna to split the traffic between reviews v1 and reviews v2. And we could, we could add more, but we're, not, we're just going to stick with those two. The weight that we'll use and split the traffic between v1 and v2 will be the same, so we should get an even distribution or 50-50 split. Now we see our traffic rule has been created. Traffic shifting rule has been created. And now if we give it a moment and we come back here and start 
refreshing, we should see that we get traffic shifting approximately weighted one to one. Now what we're going to do is take a look at our traffic rule. We see that this is the Superglue API and uh, it provides a unified way of specifying thing, configurations to a service mesh, in this case app mesh. Next thing we're going to do is do the same traffic shifting, but we're going to do it using command line flags. Instead of interactive mode, which we did earlier, we'll just use command line flags to do that. Note, you could also do this using the YAML directly, which is typically what you do with some of these service mesh implementations. Um, with Superglue, we have a few different options. Interactive, we could do it with the command line flags or directly with the YAML. Now, in this, in this example, what we're doing is we're splitting the traffic between three different destination backends, each with an equal weight. This is going to be for version one. For version two, we're um, uh, equal weight. And for version three, equal, uh, well, actually, for version three, we're doing a, a weight of five. So we should see version three show up more frequently, and version three is the one with the red stars, than, uh, than any of the other versions for reviews. And again, we're using AWS App Mesh traffic shifting capabilities, but we're using the Superglue API to drive this. If you're interested in Superglue, come check it out, superglue.solo.io. If you're interested in App Mesh and AWS um, Service Mesh, then check, out, uh, check it out at the AWS console. Thanks for stopping by this video.